as a computer guy, who hasn't <laughs> over the years wound up with a stack of hard drives that uh, you pulled out of old computers and uh, just really didn't have anything to do with and felt like, oh, maybe I could use that one day or I could put it into another computer or any one, any number of things, right? Well, over the last uh, couple of months, I've been collecting all of these things here and uh, I've got these and I had a whole bunch of little ones from old laptops that I've actually been buying cases for and putting them in. So I, I did this. I'm going to give this thing a try. A little four bay enclosure here for the SATA drives anyways. I don't know if it has the power adapter for the uh, one with the old fashioned uh, power, power plug, but uh, the other three drives should work fine. And uh, here's what it looks like. So here it is unboxed and it's ready to go there. And it's got this little drop down thing and a place to put all the drives in. I'm going to go ahead and take it apart and put it together and uh, see what it, uh, see what it looks like. Probably going to have to reformat the thing for the, uh, for the Mac there, but uh, uh, that's fine. It'll give me a couple terabytes of uh, storage when I'm done. The kit came with these four, four brackets because of the, the four bays. And uh, this is what it looks like mounted on each of these drives. So I've got a one terabyte drive, a 500 gig, and a 250 gig drive. I'll be mounting in this. And it's got this door on the front, this little metal plate here that comes out. It says to take out this piece of paper here. Then you can see into the back there all of the circuitry and the back planes for the, the SATA drives that are going to go in there. And you can see there is no other power source for um, that kind of SATA drive, which is a little weird, right? So that, that drive's got both the traditional ATX power as well as SATA. So I'm not actually sure if I need to have both. All three drives are in, so we're going to go ahead and get her buttoned up. And there it is with the main door closed, and you can see a whole series of controls on there to let you know about the uh, the status of the drives. And on the back, it's a pretty sizable fan to deal with the heat, and that's where the power supply plugs in. And there's the power supply, standard power cable, hard drive cables that uh, connect to your PC. The three drives are in. It's connected by USB 3. Everything's nicely lit up. And here you can see that uh, at least one of them was not readable by the computer, which is fine. I expected that. The vault is the 8 terabyte Western Digital but the other two or other three are showing up here like this. I'll probably have to go in and uh, to disk management and figure out what they are and format them appropriately for the Mac so I could read right to this particular system. I don't really care what's on the drives. I'll probably peek through it and kind of see what kind of what kind of systems or files are on there. Obviously, they were previously formatted for. Windows boxes, maybe a Linux machine. We'll see. We'll see. Interesting. So, the one terabyte drive was I was able to erase and mount uh, properly. The two hundred and fifty gig drive I was able to erase and mount properly. But the five hundred looks like it's just it's just dead. Uh, I keep getting these errors saying that. It, uh, I can't erase and uh, and mount them, which is kind of too bad. So that's that'll make it easy for me to throw that thing away or recycle it without uh, too much thought. But kind of cool. Everything's all mounted up over there now. The things at work anyway. So I'll go ahead and shut her down, unplug that drive, maybe rearrange the drives in the case, and then uh, we'll be able to uh, 
move on with life from there. And there you go. I went from scratching for any kind of stores that I that I could find, USB or otherwise, to having probably well over nine gigs of uh, of storage using the uh, some old drives that I had lying around and uh, and a convenient case that I picked up for a little over a hundred bucks on Amazon. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a little bit of a different spin on what I normally do. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a like, share, subscribe, make a comment even as to what uh, what else you think I could do f um, to increase my storage uh, for this uh, for this particular old Mac that I got here. So thank you very much, and I will see you in the next video.